In this tutorial, we are going to use Global Mapper in order to georeference a topographic map and then export it and use it in any GIS software. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to use this topographic map. It's the a topographic map of a city in Switzerland, in Europe. This map is provided by USGS. So if you want to get this kind of topographic maps for free, you can watch my video on how to get this kind of maps. So this map was done using the, according to the transverse Mercator projection, we are going to georeference this map using Global Mapper. So after opening Global Mapper, we are going to import our map. In order to do this, you can either click on open data files or you can click on this button. So I will click on open data files. Go to your work folder and click on your image and then click on open. So now Global Mapper is telling us that this image does not contain any geographical information. So I will select manually rectify image and then I will click on OK. Then click again on OK. So here we go, you will get this page. So now we are going to use this page in order to insert manually the coordinates of our map. So before starting to reference our map, we will go ahead and select the projection of our map. So just click on select projection. So for our case, we will add it to geographic latitude and longitude. For the datum is WGS 84 and in arc degrees. I will click on OK. So I will go ahead now and insert the first point. So go ahead and use this page in order to zoom on your first point. I will use this one. So click on this intersection and input the X and Y coordinates in here. I will input X coordinate and the Y coordinate. After that, click on add point to list. I will name it point one and we will click on OK. Now zoom out and we will go ahead and zoom in to our second point. And we will do the same operation. We we'll click on this intersection and we will input the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And then click on add point to the list. It's point two and we will click on OK. Now zoom out again and go ahead and zoom in to your third point. It's this one. And again, we will click on this intersection and we will input the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And then click on add point to the list. Point three, click on OK. Now zoom out again and we will add a final point. This one. Click on the intersection. I will input the X coordinate, six degrees, and the Y coordinate, which is 47 degrees. And I will click on add point to list and then click on OK. So here we go. Now we added four points in order to georeference our map. Now all what we need to do is just click on apply right here and then click on OK. For this page just click on ok so here we go now we got our georeferenced map we can now export it in order to use it in other gis software so in order to export this map go to file and then go to export and then click on export raster image format so from this menu you can choose any type of extension that you want for me i will use the GeoChief extension and I will click on OK. So for this page, I will just leave everything to default and I will click on OK. So select the folder where you want to save your map, name it, then click on save. So now I opened ArcMap in order to use my georeferenced map. So I will go ahead and click on add data. Now we get to where you saved your map, click on it and then click on add. Click on yes. There we go, as you can see, we can use this map in any GIS software. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you got some value from it. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.